Well, it's happened again. Racist graffiti at a school, and this time it's at Wayland High School. As WBZ's Brandon Truitt shows us, the message targeted one person in particular. It's happened before, and this is, I think, just like the, the peak. Students and staff at Wayland High School greeted with this racist message Wednesday morning, equating the superintendent here with a racial slur. I think it's really sad that, that some people think that way in Wayland, and... Uh, and yeah, I don't know how the administration is going to go about dealing with it. The Wayland Police Department says they were alerted to the graffiti around 7.30 in the morning. This image from a teacher shows the graffiti covered in paper before it was ultimately painted over. The message was painted on the Wayland Community Pool building. It sits right on the road at the entrance of the high school. Wayland Superintendent Dr. Omar Easy appears to be the intended target of the message. New to the role within the last year, Dr. Easy has gone from an NFL player to educator leader and joined a rarefied group as a superintendent of color in Massachusetts. The Department of Elementary and Secondary Education telling me out of the 273 superintendents in the state, 21 are people of color, including just eight who are black. Just your general reaction to the facts of, of this story. Usually done with the intention to spread fear and intimidation to those targeted. Peggy Shuker is over the Anti-Defamation League of New England and points out this kind of racist incident has a ripple effect. When you look at it, it's not just something that targets the individual named in it, but really everyone who's a member of that marginalized community. And, and that's something that's really important to keep in mind. The Wayland School Committee, along with the Teachers Union, releasing a joint statement saying, quote, as a school community, we denounce this heinous act of racism. This is not who we are as a community. We are also outraged that this one act undermines the work we are doing to build an inclusive environment. The police chief says his department is investigating, adding, quote, the person or people found responsible for this hateful message will be held accountable. As for Dr. Easy, he did not return our request for comment for this report. With just days until the winter break, a racist act casting a shadow on an otherwise quiet community. In Wayland, Brandon Truitt, WBZ News.